joining us. The pandemic has created the need now for more volunteers to connect with seniors and the disabled in several East Tennessee counties. Absolutely, and that program called Community Connect, operated by the Douglas Cherokee Economic Authority, needs at least half a dozen more drivers to take people to the doctor's office or get them to the grocery store. All those necessities. Yeah. WATE 6 on your side. Consumer reporter Don Dare went to Morristown today to find out why more help is needed. Don. Well, Lori, before the COVID-19 pandemic, leaders at Douglas Cherokee used to be able to recruit volunteers at community events and people would sign up. Now, however, to prevent the spread of the virus, few civic organizations meet in person and recruiting efforts are difficult. Nevertheless, there are still older people and disabled people who require assistance. John Gallion's travel schedule is full through the end of October. He's one of six people with the Douglas Cherokee Economic Authority who drive seniors and people with disabilities to doctor's appointments, to the grocery store. At her office in Morristown, Shannon Collins enters appointments into the schedule for those enrolled in the Community Connect program. She says more than a dozen volunteers call clients on the phone to check up on them. However, only a handful, like John, travel to meet clients and take them free of charge to see a doctor or to pick up food. John is the only full-time driver. Others are volunteers, but more are needed to care for the growing number of clients. I think we probably need at least another eight volunteers. Um, for the transportation alone. We have new client applications here. Um, I just got those entered into the system this morning. They are new applications from people who need help with transportation or want someone to call and check in on them. So, so the numbers are growing. The numbers are growing, yes. Every day, Mr. Gallion enters a new client's name and their destinations onto the master dry erase boards. The calendar for September is full, and now most of October is filling up. As you can see here, we're in Sevierville today, Johnson City tomorrow, and Jeff City Wednesday. Pretty big territory. Yeah, we cover over five counties. Before the pandemic, Douglas Cherokee had little trouble recruiting volunteer drivers. Hey, Robert. Hi, John. However, last March, there weren't as many people who needed help with transportation, and recruiting volunteer drivers was easier before COVID-19 changed everything. Well, it's been a little more challenging now because I used to go out and speak at events and talk about our program to recruit volunteers. And now those events just aren't happening anymore, so it's really changed how I've had to go about recruiting. John Gallion will be taking Robert from his home in Bean Station to the doctor's office in Sevierville. Robert is new to the Community Connect program. I can't get around, so I called Douglas Cherokee, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't get out of here, period. The trip to Sevierville, Robert's visit with the doctor, and his return trip will take most of the afternoon. And John will be with him the whole time. The reward for me is, is helping people out and giving them a helping hand for their lives can be better. Now, the telecare volunteers who offer assistance over the telephone, they must be of age 18 or up, and transportation volunteers must be 26 or up. All volunteers are provided with liability coverage, and while volunteering, drivers receive 30 cents a mile round trip to cover the cost of gas. The Douglas Cherokee Economic Authority offer these programs in Cock, Jefferson, Hamblin, Granger, and Sevier counties. A large area, Bo. Yes, it is. And boy, you saw that calendar is filling up. Don, thank you. And if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wat.com. You can also call his six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.